everyone, my name is Maya. I'm a student at CSUMB and a service learner for the Monterey County Free Libraries. In today's book chat video, we're going to be covering Bright Young Women, written by Jessica Knoll. This is a fictional novel based off the infamous Ted Bundy killings. What makes this book so unique is that this is told in the perspective of the victims and survivors of the Ted Bundy killings. Um, we, his name is never mentioned in the book, which I find to be very interesting. I think that's like, I don't, I don't think that's ever really been done before. I don't know. But I think that's pretty unique. And I like that it's told in the perspective of, um, you know, the survivors and people that want justice for what happened to their friends. And it doesn't romanticize him. I feel like our, like, the media has heavily romanticized the all-American sex killer that is Ted Bundy and this this novel portrays him as like an incel like a loser and I think that it does justice for you know everyone that he has affected and I don't know there is however some controversy around this book just because it is a fictional novel about other people's trauma if that makes sense this book was released last year, like in the beginning of 2023, I think January, if I'm correct, or winter 2023. And um, one of the survivors of the Ted Bundy killings actually made a memoir that got released later on in 2023. And it was published from an independent publishing company or independent press. So it just, it didn't receive as much praise and attention as Bright Young Women did. So there is a little bit of controversy between that. But honestly, I would just recommend reading both. Like, I think Bright Young Women does a good job of telling the story in like a new perspective. But also, we should give, you know, we should give credit where it's due. We should give, you know, the memoir just as like enough attention and hype as Bright Young Women has been getting. And if you guys would like to read that memoir, it's written by Kathy Kleiner Rubin, and it's called A Light in the Dark. So I'd highly recommend checking out that book. I might and with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.